Welcome to yet another one of my late style interview reviews. Today I have a good friend of mine here to talk to you about iPhone 7 and his usage case in 2019. So uh, I'd like to introduce my friend Patrick. We're gonna switch places here and he's gonna kind of take the reins here and tell you about his phone in 2019. So without further ado, let's begin with the interview. <laughs> Come on, dude. Overall, the phone feels pretty solid. Um, I don't use a case and I've dropped the phone probably like like 15 to 20 times. Uh, it only has a few like minor scratches on the corners, which is pretty impressive. I've had the phone for over a year and and I haven't used a case for any of that time. So one of the things I enjoy most about the design is how slim the phone is. Uh, the main reason I don't use a case is because what's the point in buying a phone if you're just gonna bulk it up with a heavy duty case? So I don't use a case because I just like being able to put it in my pocket and not noticing it's there. Um, well, I'm a musician and audio is really important to me. So I personally don't think the speakers are that good, but to the average listener, I think they're fine and they'll suit anybody's purpose. Um, but I mean, if you're, if you're really concerned about audio, you're going to end up getting a, an external speaker or headphones, whether you like the sound quality of the phone or not, just because you want more volume. The display quality on this phone is really nice and there's a lot of good contrast. Um, but actually I'm colorblind, so I don't have any input on the colors. A lot of time I run my phone in grayscale mode, so I mean, do with that what you will. I wish the phone got a little brighter. The most frequent ways I use my display are through YouTube and Reddit. On Reddit, I just look at GIFs of cute cats and funny memes. On YouTube, I watch like car videos and stuff. Um, all high quality stuff. It looks great on the phone. So personally, I haven't used a phone with like razor thin bezels, so I can't really speak to this, but the bezels have never bothered me. Even on like using something like the newer iPad, which I hadn't experienced using, um, the phone, the bezels don't bother me. And I personally like having the button there just for, makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> the battery life is really good. I've had the, this phone for over a year and a half now and the battery life is still at 93% of its maximum capacity, which is pretty good, especially for an Apple device. Planned obsolescence, you know? Yeah, so for me, a heavy day of usage is using it like for like an hour and a half, and it, it gets through that fine. I have to charge it once every two or three days. Most days though, I use it for like half an hour just to check Reddit for memes. I don't use my camera for photos or videos that often, but when I do, I'm generally happy with the results I get. Overall, the camera is pretty good. The contrast is good, but the focus has issues the closer you get to an object. So taking pictures of something up close, you might have trouble with the focus, but taking pictures of something far away, I've never had an issue with. In low lights, the camera sometimes performs poorly, but in medium to well lit conditions, the camera always does well. Uh, Snapchat image quality is pretty good. Normally I just put dabbing skeletons or penguins that are spanking themselves in my Snapchat, so the image quality doesn't matter that much, but they seem fine. Overall the phone performs well and I've never had any issues with it. The UI is clean and the animations are smooth. Multitasking is easy and I can keep open as many apps as I want, but if I have too many open, I will see some stuttering. Touch ID is really smooth. It always recognizes my finger and it opens in like under a second. It's nuts. So I play with my cock a couple times every day and I use always use my phone to do it. It's great. I've never experienced lag playing with my cock. It's not slow. I can I can play with my cock as fast as I want. 60 FPS, really. Like that's that's outstanding. Um yeah, so I check up on my cock a couple times a day using my phone, and uh, I love that I can just whip out my cock at any time and sh <laughs> You said like seven times. <laughs> so I hope this video helped you out. I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like in the video, comment if you have any questions or suggestions, and subscribe for more content like this. And Patrick, do you have anybody you'd like to shout out? Yeah, I'd like to shout out my boyfriend, Robbie Grisinski. <laughs> He's your boyfriend? I mean, my friend, Robbie. Oh, friend. right, right. And <laughs> as always, I'm Noah, and I will catch you all in the next one. But I'm not done yet. I'd like to shout out my boyfriend. 
do you actually want to do that? Yeah, that's fine. Oh my god. Two plus two plus four minus one. That's three quick maths. Screw up. <laughs> Ready? Such a nice design. <laughs> I love the display. <laughs> Eat your girl's lightning port, like. <laughs> no, no. The the display. The, <laughs> the contrast is sharp and. No, that's not. That's not. <laughs> the contrast is sharp. It's not sharp. It just it exists. I know. <laughs> what do you want me to say? The contrast sucks <laughs> ass. <laughs> Suck my nuts. Suck my left donkey nut. The display quality on this phone is really nice. <laughs> That's it. It's really nice display quality. <laughs> I don't take many photos or videos, but I'm always happy with the result I get when I put in the time to get a good one. That didn't make any sense. <laughs> I got a good one, Dad. Got a good one on this cellular telephone. I got a good one. <laughs> Look at me, Dad. I got a good one. Performance. My performance? Excellent. <laughs> Didn't ask that. Oh. What? Overall, the form. Uh, the the form. <clears throat> overall, the overall, the overall, 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 overall. I like iOS because the icons are like squares, but they have rounded edges. <laughs>